I'm back in Calvin Field. Welcome to video eight in our Sobo Luxlock series for beginners. As you just saw today's video, we're going over close stick striking. And if you haven't done so, make sure you go back and check out our playlist with our first seven video up here on double uh figure eight four, backwards, double spin. Uh, horizontal spin, vertical spin, the triangle strike, the double strike, overhead strike. Check out all those videos. Make sure you practice them. Make sure you get at them. And now we're actually going to do something a little bit simpler, which is overlooked sometimes, is the double stick close strike. So a lot of time when we strike with double leg chest close, you're striking with the metal part in like punching or you're kind of chopping as well as smearing and then actually a lot that's not, not as common is using the back for like back strength i like or even like a camera fit or back fit or back sideways camera fit or upward camera fit i like to add those i like to go you know strength like that in my uh some of my forms i've done it's kind of cool something a little bit different so with the double um if any of you think of it like any type of hand combination that you would normally do, but you had chuck in your hand, that's really, really different. You can floss with them, you can strike with them. Um, what I just demonstrated it was like more of the modern style of like speed combinations where you'd be like chop, punch, chop, spear, chop, punch, high block, punch. You know, those are very common, right? So, um, one way. You know how to change them up. You step out, you chop, you punch, chop, spear, maybe you come up, chop, punch, and you're always shifting on the punches, you know how to strike, uh, you're your high block, punch, and if you know this, you're only shifting on your punches, and your punches is where the power is going to be. Your chops and spear, and block, you're not going to have the same amount of power as that forward punch or reverse punch. And that's why you save your hip movement for that power shot. But yeah, it's pretty simple, right? Like, when are you doing, you know, your traditional low block, punch, you're rising your high block, punch, you know, it's just pretty simple, right? It's just, that's the only difference, really. It's like, there's not a whole lot of difference as far as strength goes. You know? So, I mean, what are you doing, like a traditional type of one, no, where you might go like low block, front kick, double punch, uh, what are you doing, like the high block, punch, you do the crop, high crop block, into a double strike. Like I said, I also like doing where, like I'll do like a chop, spear, chop, hammer fit, hammer fit. So again, chop, Spear chop. Instead of a punch, which everybody does, you can mix it up like going chop, spear, chop, hammer fit. And then what I'll do, I'll actually drop down and come up. So maybe me to hit underneath the chin or to throw at my opponent, or maybe coming up on the silver flag, or if I stay low, I can hit the groin. So those are kind of cool, like, but when you're doing double lunge shots, obviously all the open hand stuff. So that's where I would throw a double um, close stick stuff. But like every time that I, uh, one time I'll crawl over catch, then I'll go into that. But what I really recommend though when doing that is you want to keep the flow. Lung chucks are very slow, very flashy. You want to keep the chuck going. Not like some other weapons where you can kind of stop for a second, because they are kind of a sectional weapon. When you kind of let them stop, they hang, and well, that kind of works. So, you want to keep the chuck going and feel like that. And I'll, be, I'll be very smooth, and a lot of times I will kind of do like a cross strike, catch them, and then I'll go into whatever type of hand combination I'm doing, and then I'll just release them again. So I might, you know, try and then something I can go back into 
figuring for what it is. So you can kind of play with that. And there's like a line here. Just go on YouTube, like where you are right now. After you watch all my videos, just look up empty hand speed combination and do them with the double chuck. And you know, you're pretty set right there. So that was the first uh, eight video. We got one more video, number nine is going to be the bonus video, which is going to have a basic double chuck combination for you to work on. Just kind of put several techniques that we practice. Make sure you check out the playlist to your right to check out all the previous videos. And I'll hit the subscribe button and I'll see you for video number nine for your double nunchuck combination.